All right, let's go. Hey, it's Chad from Cardboard of the Rings, and I wanted to show off um, the new contract that was spoiled. So this is going to be from an upcoming AP challenge of the Wayne Riders. It's the Grey Wanderer. It's awesome. So uh, if you haven't seen this thing yet, uh, it's you cannot choose more than one starting hero is the setup instructions here, including as well, search your deck for one attachment with a printed cost of one and put it into play, then flip this card over. So you get one hero and you get one free one cost attachment. And then side B says the first non-unique card you play each planning phase does not require a resource match. That can get tricky, but it's extremely powerful. And then you get an action, exhaust this card, and raise your threat by one to choose two. Ready your starting hero, add two resources to your starting hero's resource pool, or heal three damage from your starting hero. So that is... The contract I'm going to be using. Uh, the deck I'm going to be using is one that I'm calling Hans Frollo. It's a solo Frodo deck. Um, we'll just see how it plays. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to dig out a Song of Travel as your starting card. That lets you play Sam for one resource. And then you're just trying to spam the board with some allies using a very good tail and timely aid. And your allies will do a lot of the work. And Frodo's ability which is after he commits to a quest, I can spend a resource from his resource pool to ready another questing unique character. And then if I quest successfully, I can reduce my threat by one. So the contract and Frodo's ability basically uh, equal a net gain of zero threat if you quest successfully. You get to drop your threat by one, and if you trigger the contract, you raise your threat by one. So that works out well with Sam, because if you have the resource... Uh, after you raise your threat, you can spend the resource to ready Sam. So basically using Frodo's ability, you can you can ready a different unique character, and then you can also spend a resource to ready Sam. All right, so the quest I am going to play is Escape from Dol Guldur. So I have done the setup. Uh, this one basically whiffs. I'll read those in a minute. So let's flip this over. Uh, randomly select one hero from among all the heroes and turn it face down. It's now the prisoner. All right. All right. And I lose. That's actually not the fastest loss I've ever had against this quest. Very good. All right, in all seriousness, I'm gonna actually play Journey um, along to Anduin. I'm playing this one for a couple of reasons. One, uh, there's a lot of people who have the core set and then they buy the newest cycle. So um, they would have Frodo, they'd be getting this contract, they would have this quest to play. Um, this also was a very hard quest to beat when you just had the core set, so I kind of wanted to show off some of the power creep this game has had, uh, just starting with one hero. And also, um, the tech against this quest is basically to have low threat, so um, a mono hero deck against this quest should do very well. So to start the quest... Uh, I need to basically draw my starting hand. So here's the contract. I'm just going to show side B. I'm going to dig out my Song of Travel. I get to play it for free. There it is. So Frodo now has the spirit resource icon. Close and shuffle. Let's take a mulligan. Okay, do I like this hand? Yes, I do, because I have Sam. And that's the card I'm digging for. <laughs> I'm also going to be able to drop my threat down to three. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a great starting hand. Okay, starting turn, I mean. So let's see. I reveal a card. So let's give this a shuffle. Uh, okay, two threat location. I can't draw cards while it's active. Very good. All right, we'll start the game. Okay, so this is where I got to be careful. I almost made a mistake and this is where the contract is a little tricky so the first non-unique card doesn't require a sphere match so uh, like the Shire Folk is a non-unique card even though it's neutral I don't know if that would cancel out like if that counts as playing a non-unique card I think it does but definitely if I have if I play just for example if I play the Traveler. He's a non-unique. Even though I have the Spirit icon, he's a non-unique card. So that is the first non-unique card, which means I could not play 
a fast hitch, which I don't have the lore icon. So right now I could play a uh, fast hitch before I play any other non-unique card. So that that that's the trick. Now I don't know if I want to play fast hitch. I have to dig out the hill troll. But that's the trick of this is even if the non-unique card you play matches the sphere you have, you cannot play a card that doesn't have a sphere match in your opening um, in in your planning phase. So um I don't I don't think I'm going to want to play fast hitch to be honest. So what I want to do here is I'm going to choose uh, from the Grey Wanderer to raise my threat by one. You know, exhaust it, raise my threat by one. I'm going to choose two. I'm going to heal zero damage, and I'm going to gain two resources. All right. And then I'm going to play the Traveler. When he enters play, I get to look. Uh, if it's location, I can get rid of it, but I'm not getting rid of Banks Anduin. That's the best location in this quest. So that is the card I'm going to be up against. Uh, then I'm going to play Sam for one. Okay, so that's going to be one, two, three, four. And so I'm, I'm debating if I want to use Timely Aid. I might as well drop my threat by four. Or um, I'm debating if I want to use a very good tail. I'm going to exhaust uh, six resources worth of allies that I paid two for. Do a very good tail. Shuffle. Okay, Rosie, perfect. Uh, Rivendell Scout. Uh, don't like seeing a timely aid get discarded. Resourceful is getting discarded. And another Traveler. Okay, so I'm going to keep the Traveler and Rosie. These get discarded. That worked. Alright, I'm going to quest for one, two, three, four. Five, six. Uh, spending Frodo's resource to ready Rosie. <laughs> Actually, that works out pretty good. I'm going to spend Frodo's resource to ready Rosie. I have to. And then I'm going to quest successfully. But I'm going to add her two willpower to Frodo. So I'm actually questing for eight. So it's eight against four. So I make four progress. So if you missed what I did there, use Frodo's ability, spend a resource, ready to unique questing character. Rosie then contributed her two willpower to Frodo. And she had already committed her two willpower to the quest. So it was two, four, six, eight. Since I quested successfully, I get to drop my threat. And then I'm going to travel to the banks of the Anduin. Not going to engage the hill troll. Round two. All right, resourceful. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to play the fast hitch first because I don't need a resource match. That's going to go on Rosie because it says attach to a Hobbit character. And I'm going to do the same thing. Heal two damage. Or I'm going to heal up to two, which is uh, I'm choosing zero. Spend one on resourceful. Extra resource tokens per round. One. All right, we're good here. Uh, I don't know what I'm up against. I want to make at least three progress. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I want to do seven, eight. So I'll send eight. Uh, Sergi Crows and Gladden Fields. So four, five, six, seven. Eight. Rosie will boost Frodo. Nine, ten. This is now on top of the deck. I'll travel to the Gladden Fields, which says I have to uh, raise my threat by an additional one. You know what? I think I forgot when I did um, the Grey Wanderer to raise my threat. That is something I forget if I do it. Okay. I am not going to engage the crows because I want this to be my encounter card because I know that's what's coming. And we go to the next round. All right, Faramir, nice. All right, so exhaust the contract, raise my threat by one, gain two resources, heal zero damage. Uh, I'm going to start out by playing... Let me think, who do I want this fast hitch to go on? 
think I want it to go in Frodo. Frodo and his other four resources go in Faramir. Okay, very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I needed to raise my threat by an extra one because of this. All right, so I need to make um, 11 progress. Right, I want a quest for 11. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I used Faramir, seven, eight, nine. I'm short by two. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll quest for 12. Victory display. Make a progress. Travel to the banks. Uh, might as well engage these crows. Okay, I don't know what the shadow is going to be. I will defend with Frodo. And Rosie can boost him if I need to. Yeah, there's nothing. And then the crows are super dead. Uh, but they just get shuffled back into the encounter deck. All right, so all I want now is basically I'm waiting till I can kill the hill troll in one swoop. So I just need to get one more uh, bigger ally out. Okay, drinking song. I've been waiting for a little bit of card draw. I'd only get to draw two cards. And White Tower Watchman's pretty good. If each hero you control belongs to the same sphere, which they do, because I only have one, I can assign damage from undefended enemy attacks to the White Tower Watchman. So I could take the Hill Troll undefended. I'd have to raise my threat by three. And what could I attack for? One, two, three, four, potentially five. Six. Yeah, I'm short. I don't have uh, I don't have any of my attackers out yet. So I think I will just do drinking song and basically just see two more cards. Oh great. Okay, that sucked. All right, that's two cards I didn't need to see. Alrighty, let's quest. One, two, three, four. I'm not even using the the wanderer because it makes no sense to. Five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to spend a resource to ready Sam, I guess. So 10 against 3. 10 against 5. 1, 2, 3, four, 5. Quested successfully. I get to drop my threat. Uh, might as well add two more. This is going back on top of the deck. I am not engaging the wargs because there's no shadow effect. And we all know these wargs, if you don't have a shadow, they go back up to the staging area. All right. Actually, I might as well just one, two, three, four, five. I might as well just add five more. I mean, what's, why not? All right. There we go. Thank you very much. All right. Raise my threat by one. Whoopsie. Get two resources. Spend all but one. Tree beard. All right, now I'm going to be able to take out the troll. This is what I'm questing against. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I need to quest for. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I make no progress. I reveal that. Six against six. Travel there. I'm going to take a risk with these wargs. See if I can't. So Rosie's going to boost uh, Frodo, so he's defending for four against three. Please have a shadow. It doesn't. All right, they go back up. All right, here we go. All right, I'm still in secrecy, so the Rivendell Scout comes in for free. Uh, that is the one problem with this deck, is you end up top decking if you don't get your draw cards, because there's no guaranteed way to draw cards every round, an extra card. Um... There's Daron's Runes, there's Deep Knowledges. I'm sorry, there's Drinking Songs, Deep Knowledges. But yeah, it can stall, but like once you get a board state like this, it's a pretty good board state. You should be all right. All right, I'm questing against five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve at the moment. I want to make sure I clear this banks. Exhaust the Grey Wanderer. Raise my threat by one, gain two resources, heal two damage. 
Uh, when I raised my threat, I can trigger Sam's ability. So spend a resource, ready Sam. So now I'm questing for 13. I'm also going to trigger Frodo's ability to ready a unique questing character. And if I quest successfully, I get to drop my threat. So let's see what I reveal. Surge. I reveal four more threat. 13 against 9 is a difference of 4. I did quest successfully, so I get to drop my threat back down to 11. This will be my shadow card. Engage the hilt troll. Um, oh, I might as well travel there. Discard two cards. Who cares? Okay, so the troll is going to attack for 6, and then any excess damage um, gets... Uh, it counted as threat raise, which I don't care. Let me just make sure I can kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to be a little short, but I'm actually okay with that. I'll just whittle him down. So he's going to attack the scout. Uh, the scout's going to die. It goes away. I have to raise my threat by four because four excess damage went by. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. She's going to boost him. Nine, ten. Seven goes through. Almost there. I'll get him next turn. Here we go. Mary. Mary a doc. All right, so he says, uh, after Mary enters play, each unique character you control gets plus one willpower. So I'm going to wait until next um, next turn to put him into play. There we go. Okay, I really don't care how much progress I make, although I would like to travel if I could. Ugh, that one sucks because I'm top decking. One, two, three, four, five. I'm up against five. That's six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. I actually should have had three willpower on him, but that's okay. Uh, nine, ten. I'm going to do the same things I did last time. Raise my threat. Gain the money. Ready, Sam. Spend the money. That's actually how he should look. Spend another one. Uh, I guess I needed to quest with some other unique character. Might as well have been Treebeard. All right, I'm, I'm questing for a ton. I don't even know what it is. Uh, deal one damage to each character controlled by a player of a threat of 35. Okay, that's not me. I definitely clear this. I'm not traveling there. I don't want to engage either of these guys. Treebeard is going to defend. And then, do I have to stand him back up? Let's see. Three against six. We'll see what, we'll see what the math comes out to. Nothing. So he takes three damage. What do I got? One, two... Three, four, she boosts Frodo. Five, six. Uh, that's enough. I don't need to ready Treebeard. All right, cool. I advance. We all know the drill here. Now I'm revealing two cards per round. Oh, nice. That's good timing. All right, that was timely. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm still in secrecy, so... Oh! I quested successfully, so I forgot to drop my threat back down. That's the one trick about this deck, is you end up having to bounce your threat back and forth, and it gets a little confusing. Let's do some timely aid. An ally from the top. Oh, Gandalf. Good timing, buddy. All right, Gandalf's in play. I'm going to play Mary, so all my unique characters get plus one willpower. And we're going to do all the tricks again, so... One, two, he doesn't exhaust. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, but then Unique's got one more, so twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-seven willpower, and then uh, I'm going to trigger the contract, raise my threat. That lets me spend a resource to ready Sam. He's boosted, so that's 28. And then I'm going to spend another resource to ready Treebeard. Okay, 28, 
No, 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 sorry. I'm going to ready Faramir. That was dumb. And Treebeard should have another resource. Readying Faramir so I can get the heck out of here in one turn. Uh, East Blight, that's awesome. And then each player raises his threat by one for each character he controls that is not currently committed to the quest. Well, I sent the team, so that completely whiffs. All right, so 28 against one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a difference of 22. So I blow past this in one turn. Uh, I get to drop my threat by one. And then we reveal two cards. Enemy, enemy, and that's it. I'm not revealing any more cards. Um, travel to the East Blight. Now I just start engaging things. It's just a slow, okay, I can engage two, good. So I'm just gonna keep engaging the wargs because it's, it's a hit or miss if I ever can kill them. All right, so the wargs are attacking for three. These guys are attacking for two. I gotta remove progress, who cares? All right, wargs attacking for three. Faramir will defend. Yes, shadow. All right, plus one. So Faramir takes two damage. Good, I can kill him. And then these guys are attacking for two. Uh, I think I will do Frodo. Because Sam's boosted. No, I will do Sam. Sam's defending for two against two. Okay, nothing. Very good. Gandalf will swing for four. Kill these guys. Frodo attacks for one. Rosie boosts him. I need one more. So I will ready. Treebeard, kind of a waste, but that's okay. All right, I think you can see I got this in hand. So we'll refresh. Gandalf makes me raise my, oops, makes me raise my threat by two more to stay in play. Since I'm not revealing any cards during the quest phase, thanks to this, um, I'm just going to send these guys with no attack. So I'm sending six, six against one, two, three, four, five, six. I will engage the Marsh Adder. Uh, when he attacks you, I got to raise my threat. So I'll do that. Okay, he's attacking for four. He should have had a resource. Gandalf will defend for four. Attack enemy gets plus one. Gandalf takes a hit. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. You're dead. And then the final turn. Haha, <laughs> Bill shows up at the last second. Gandalf raised my threat. I'm out of secrecy. Uh, yeah. I'll quest for six. Make a couple progress. Doesn't matter. Gandalf will defend. Uh, plus one. Treebeard can kill him off. All right. And then uh, that's a victory. So, yeah, that's how the deck works. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is, like I said, the card draw is a little slow. I'm sure there's a couple ways uh, people could build this to increase the card draw. But with your timely aids and your very good tails, you're basically drawing cards by putting allies in. I didn't draw any of my deep knowledges. I didn't draw any of my Daron's runes. So uh, that slowed the deck down a little bit. But that's how it works. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.